In the latest episode of State of the Nation on GB News, Jacob Rees-Mogg and Dr Tessa Dunlop offered a fantastically uh, fascinating, awkward debate on Brexit, austerity and the Taylor Swift ticket saga involving Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer. And Rees-Mogg, I think, has sort of met his match with uh, Tessa Dunlop, who is superb. Rees-Mogg, ever the embodiment of aristocratic self-assuredness, seemed to relish the exchange with Dunlop. Who wouldn't? A historian of eloquent, um, or equal eloquence, but clearly not one to back down in the face of conservative orthodoxy. And Dunlop cleverly redirected the conversation, pointing out the economic stagnation of the past 15 years, a time frame in which she noted the Conservatives have been in power for 14, and she exposed the contradictions in uh, Mogg and Redwood's positions on Brexit, sarcastically calling out their inability to acknowledge the economic downturn, it precipitated, particularly in relation to Ireland's flourishing economy post-Brexit, a sensitive point for Rees Mogg, who has long defended the referendum result. The conversation then shifted to the curious case of Taylor Swift, and Mogg defended the Labour leader's involvement in the so-called Taylorgate scandal, suggesting Starmer's attendance at Swift's concerts was more than just a fan's indulgence, arguably framed as a strategic campaign move. Tessa Dunlop remained unconvinced, criticising the entire debacle as evidence of Starmer's lack of political judgment and integrity, while simultaneously noting the broader issue of improper political interference in police operations, a point where Rees-Mogg uncharacteristically found himself on shakier ground. To add to the intrigue, and much to my satisfaction, Prince Harry was unexpectedly brought into the conversation, and Rees-Mogg acknowledged perhaps begrudgingly, that Harry may now, have a legit, uh, may now have a legitimate grievance against the UK government for its treatment of his own security requests. Dunlop pounced on this admission, noting how ironic it was for a staunch Brexiteer like Mogg to recognise the Prince's case, given Harry's long-standing grievances with the establishment. The conversation in typical GB News fashion spiralled into humour, with audience commentary mocking Starmer's perceived inadequacies and awkwardness on the public stage, especially in comparison to Swift's global superstardom. The juxtaposition of Starmer's political missteps and his entanglement with pop culture set the tone for a uniquely British brand of political critique and entertainment. All in all, Dunlop's defence of rational economic critique combined with Rees Mogg's aristocratic stoicism, resulted in a lively discussion that highlighted the contradictions in conservative rhetoric on Brexit and austerity. Meanwhile, the Taylor Swift saga, though seemingly trivial, serves as a poignant metaphor for the deeper political malaise surrounding Starmer's leadership, where even the smallest misstep becomes a flashpoint in the ongoing cultural war.